in a world full of quadrifolios be a 2024 Alfa Romeo Giulia Veloce wheel wheel drive. Yes, the two liters don't get as much love as we want them to with the quadrifolios bowing out. So today, let's take a look around this Alfa white and Rosso interior and see if this is the dream spec Alfa Romeo for you. What's good guys, welcome back to Ron's Rise, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video where I'm here at Alfa Romeo Lakeland in Florida with a two liter. I know it's been a while since we've had a two liter Julia on the channel because quadrifolio this, quadrifolio that. But here we are and I wanna take a spin around this thing because of the fact that these don't get as much love and appreciation as they should for the 2024 model year because they're still pretty cool. They still got some updates. They still got some cool specs. And you guys already know, if you know me and you know, my history with vehicles you guys know that i love a white and red interior spec so with that said let's check this thing out let's talk about this 2024 julia rear wheel drive in the below chase spec and see what this thing is all about now as always big shout out to alfa romeo lakeland here in florida for letting me take a spin around this below chase julia if you guys are looking to get this car make sure you guys check the link in the description for their website and phone number and give them a call check out their inventory see if they have the perfect alfa romeo here for you so here it is in alfa white the most affordable i want to say affordable paint i don't say cheapest but affordable paint for the 2024 model year because this is the only paint that comes at no cost so hey already a win right but then with this model we're gonna have a couple of things that's going to give it that stormtrooper spec on the outside, but then get it really bloody on the interior. Now, with that said, for the below change for 2024, what are we looking at? Well, up front, you guys will see the Alfa Romeo Insignia front and center with that emblem, the Trilobo and the Scudetto right up front with the new grill pattern, as you guys can see, and the dark beat on for the front grill. Now, you will also see that we have the sporty front fascia there with the new front fascia having the new designs, the cutouts, the slats, the ventilation, and a new grill pattern all throughout the front, giving it a even sportier feel and look to it for the 2024 model year. Now you can also see that our tri-LEDs, our three plus threes are here as well with the black housing, which is new for 2024. And if you get a little bit closer, you will see that we have the Alfa Romeo script right there on the side with the amber reflector as well take a step back and look at all of it together and they keep it simple few changes here and there to keep it fresh but keep it very alfa male when it comes to the dna now the side profile a little bit more simple when it comes to everything here really what you're going to focus on are these 19 inch sport wheels done in the black and chrome finish with the monochrome center cap right there in the center and the red calipers white script which are standard this whole setup is standard on a veloce models all right so you get this wheel you get the red calipers and the white script script on every veloce you also have pirelli tires yes we are looking at some pirelli rubbers to help everything stick to the road with this rear wheel drive julia and obviously right there on the front fender below chain letting you know what model we're working with here today now carry over to the mirror caps because the mirror caps are done and a gloss black finish you will also see gloss black around the window moldings the b pillar as well and the c pillar and then the roof is done in glass so it looks gloss black right and then with that glass roof you'll also get a shark fin antenna that's done in gloss black so you take a step back look at all of it together and again very classy very simple very sporty very julia now we get some more sporty flavor and aggressiveness when it comes to the rear of the Julia. Now, right in front and center, you guys will see the Alfa Romeo logo right there for that moniker. You will see to the right, the Julia badging done in chrome with the new clear tail lamps. As we know, we got the clear ones for 2024 and we will see those illuminated shortly with the Q2 badge there as well on this side with the chrome Q and red too. And then we get the sportiness and aggressiveness in the rear with the shark fin rear diffuser we have the honeycomb grill surround around the dual black exhaust tips so then you put all of that together keeps it simple but at the same time gives it some sporty look it gives it some aggressive look and really again very just afro male now we know what's under the hood of the julia veloce q2 for the 2024 model year right is what we're used to for all julia's and stelvios 
for the most part. I mean, we've had this engine in these models for the past few years now. So with that said, we're looking at an inline four, two liter with 280 horsepower and 306 pound feet of torque. Now this model here is paired to an eight speed ZF transmission with carbon fiber drive shaft and 50, 50 weight distribution. So what are we looking at? Well, with that, our times are 5.6 seconds from zero to 60. Our quarter mile time is about 14.2 seconds with our zero to 100 time about 14.6 seconds and our top speed well that's 149 miles per hour but i'm sure in safe locations like maybe a track you could probably push it to a little bit more but let's see what all of that sounds like When it comes to adding fuel to that fire, well, you're looking at a fuel economy of 27, 24, 33. So 24 combined city and highway, 27 for the city, sorry, 27 combined city and highway, 24 for the city and 33 for the highway and premium high octane recommended for this vehicle. Now, when it comes to the cargo space, we're looking at about 13 cubic feet of space in the rear. And as you guys will see, we have a 40 20 40 split when it comes to the rear seat fold downs you guys will see the toggles are right here right there in your face so you guys will not miss those when you need to fold down those rear seats and get access to the back of the vehicle your battery is stored away on the side here for the julia and then we do have a false floor underneath this front plate kit which has a small space under here nothing to stow as you guys can see it just has your tire and plate kit your tow hook and a screwdriver there that's basically it for the false floor, but plenty of space when it comes to the rear of the Julia Forest class. Now, of course, we gotta check out the lighting signature, right? I mean, come on, check out the new three plus three LEDs, tri LEDs right up front, as you guys will see. The black housing, the switchback from bright white to amber, and then the full LED headlamp there with the eyebrow and the reflector on the side doing its thing. Now you will also see in the black mirror cap, the amber flasher right there for the turn signal. And then in the rear, before we get to those tails, you'll see we have the reflector right there. And then we have the clear tail lamps flashing with the fog lamp right there in the center as well, illuminating, letting us know that this is a new light signature for the 2024 model year. Now, let's see what the front seat of this Veloce looks like for the 2024 model year because obviously we know that there's a lot of red in here today. Red sport seats, perforated leather, heated seating, extra thigh support. We got it all here with the embossed Alfa Romeo logo right there in the headrest. Beautiful place to be, right? Let's hop inside because we have an aluminum side still greeting us with some aluminum pedals there for the brake pedal and gas pedal. We hop inside and we see the door panel here. Let's us know what we're kind of looking at here besides the red we don't have any red on the door paneling but soft touches for the plastic up top then we have the aluminum metal trim there with that kind of carbon feel to it then the aluminum for the door handle we have our mirror controls and our window controls and locks right up there and then obviously the soft touches on the armrest here with the stitching as well let's get in this thing put on the brake flat bottom steering wheel start stop button on the steering wheel and we start her up and we start up in natural mode, more of that later. On the left-hand side, you will see our parking brake, not parking brake, our parking sensors. You can turn those on and off. And you also have your start-stop button. Also there with your lighting controls there for your headlight units. You have a little stowage right here, just in case you wanna put your license registration, your insurance, anything like that as well. And then this will obviously be for your digital speed off for brightness there. Then we come to the flat bottom steering wheel with perforated leather and the column mounted power shifters, big aluminum mount, uh, mounted power shifters there. So you guys wanna bang through the gears, you can do that. Now we also have our beautiful monochrome um, insignia right there in the center with this flat bottom leather steering wheel we also have our driver assistance controls here we also have a driver assistance control right here for lane keep assist and then you guys will also see after that start stop button the menu controls for our digital speedo yes our instrument cluster is now fully digital for the tft screen for 2024 and then you will also see some radio controls here as well to go 
up and down with the volume there. And you guys will also see on this side, your windshield wipers and menu view for this whole setup, which we'll go to in just a second. 8.8 .8 inch screen for our touch screen. We know this thing because it's been in Alpha Male's lineup since 2020, I believe. So we know this system very well. Um, if you don't want to touch the screen, you do have some hotkeys here and an analog dial where you can actually just control everything from there as well. Now with that, you have over top of it, your soft touch plastic with that aluminum carbon-like trim with it. The glove box here underneath. Hey, that, that popped out perfectly. You couldn't have timed that any better with how that popped out. Uh, yeah, you know, doesn't write itself, guys. Um, with that said, you guys will also see dual zone climate control with your heated steering wheel and heated seat controls there as well. USB 2.0, 12 volt, and a little extra storage with the cup holders here as well. And then that big aluminum carbon feel for the trim here. Now, we have a two-track system, HBGF, wrapped in perforated leather. I can go back, and what I mean by two-track is I can actually shift from here or I can shift from the power shifters. You know, either way I want to do it. We also have neutral, reverse, which brings up our reverse camera there, and then P for park. All right, now radio controls. I kind of hear some radio, so I'm going to turn it down or I can just press it down to mute it. Key fob holder, let your parking brake, and I already talked to you about those radio controls, and we do have a wireless charging pad right there. DNA drive mode selector, dynamic, our most aggressive mode, the one we're going to have the most fun with. Natural, everyday driving, bumper to bumper traffic, what we started in. And advanced efficiency, good for saving fuel economy, highway cruise control, everything like that. It's good for advanced efficiency. Armrest done in leather, as you guys can see. And underneath that, we have a USB 2.0, USB C, and an aux plug in with our RF transmitter there as well big roof panoramic roof let in a lot of natural lighting as well and then let's talk about our instrument panel so the cluster being new for 2024 has a little bit of a learning curve but not much because it's pretty simple they give you three different layouts so if i were to press this view button right here on the side i will change between those three different layouts as you guys can see that's it one two and three this one being my favorite now I can also change what's in the middle and what's on the side, as you guys can see the digital screens here. So how do I do that? Well, to scroll through, I will scroll up by using this, but I actually have to highlight it first. So to do that, I press that. And now you can see the middle is highlighted and then I can use this scroll dial to scroll up the information between that. Now, if I wanted to go over to the side here to the right, press that button again, and now you can see it's highlighted and now I can change my information that's on that side. So it is configurable depending on what you want to do with this car. We'll change the view again and give you a little bit more space. Change it again, and this is the most. Um, I forget the names of the three, but I know one of them is Evolved and one of them I think is Relaxed. I forgot what the other one is. Might be Classic. But Digital Dash for 2024, it's all good. It's one of those things where it takes a little bit used to, but you're going to love all the information it provides for you. Then you got to look up top because those are our controls for our panel roof. Um, that's also controls for the trunk release. And then you have your um, SOS button, dome light, floodlights, and then your home link there for your garage door opener. And then you pull down the visor and you will see a mirror with some lighting controls. Everything else there, it's pretty Julia, right? Pretty simple. Now, of course, we got to check out the rear seating arrangement because well, it's gonna be the same flavors as we know up front. Rosso seating with the black backing on the seats. And then you guys will see the perforated leather rear bench seats done in Rosso or red per usual. We do also have the heated seating controls right here in the center with the turbine vents and the USB 2.0 plugins. Also in the back seat rest, you do have some stowage here as well. And then right here in the center, we do have the armrests with the cup holders. Now it's nice to have the panel roof back there to let in a lot of natural light for your rear seat passengers, but you also have your head, you, uh, your headlight unit, your, your headlight unit there for the lighting controls right there as well. And then for the door paneling, it's gonna show you a lot of what we know for the spec, the soft touch plastics, the carbon light metal trim, the aluminum for the door handle, and then the saw touches with the stitching as well and the speaker set up there too not a bad place to be when it comes to the rear seat of a julia veloce so now let's take a look at the sticker and see how we got here 
for this Julia Veloce rear wheel drive model and break down each option. So you guys will see the base price is $45,840 for the 2024 model year, a little cheaper than years before. After options and the 1595 destination charge, you're looking at $51,785 with a basic warranty of four years, $50,000 and a powertrain of four years, $50,000 and roadside assistance, of course. Now, with that said, what do we have for options? Well, we only have two. We have the red leather sport seats at $750. The paint, I told you guys, it was obviously free. So we got that for free. And then the Veloce package, which makes the Veloce the Veloce, is $3,600 to make it that. With the power adjustable seat bolsters, manual adjustable thigh support, limited slip differential, the Miron Black V Scudetto grill, the Veloce rear fascia, the performance tires, all seasons, 19 inch five hole sport aluminum wheels, and aluminum steering mounted cow, um, column mounted power shifters with Alpha Connect services and gloss red calipers with white script. All the stuff I told you guys about, I said it comes with the Veloce package. This is the Veloce model, so it has the Veloce package as standard. So I want you to think it's like an option that you option out, you know, normally it's with this whole package. Veloce model gets all of that. So there we are. Two options, $51,000 after destination. And then this is everything the Veloce model comes with at the base price of $45,840. But basically, it's everything that an Alfa Romeo will come with at that price because the Veloce is all that right there. So you guys will see everything else that you'll see on this model too. Make sure you guys screenshot, zoom in, pause it. So you guys can see everything that we have here for this 2024 Veloce rear wheel drive. So at $51,000, what are you guys thinking about the spec on this Veloce model? Are you guys loving it as much as I am? I wanna know, drop those comments down below because again, white, red contrast with black is just undefeated to me. And that's just always been my outlook on these specs. So I love it. I wanna know what you guys think. Drop those comments down below. And if you guys did enjoy the video today, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. And also, I mean, you guys wanna help support the channel and the dealership, make sure you guys check the links in the description, like the link to their website and their phone number. You guys can give them a call and get into this car here or any other models that they have on this inventory. You guys can also subscribe or click the notification bell so you don't miss one video. And with that said, we will see you guys in the next one. Peace.